Today was day two of confirmation hearings for Brett Kavanaugh, and it had a lot to live up to, because day one was, to use a legal term, a <laughs> show, right? <laughs> you had liberal protesters being kicked out, you had a angry Democratic senators demanding the hearings be canceled, and that's not even counting when Kavanaugh failed the cinnamon challenge. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, so you can judge me, but you can't even hold your spices? Get the <laughs> out of here, man. <laughs> but, but for some reason, uh, the moment from yesterday that got the most buzz was this. Yesterday at the Kavanaugh hearings, uh, a lot of people online talking about the woman over his shoulder. Her name is Zena Gelman Bass. She's a former Kavanaugh clerk. She was accused of making a white supremacist hand gesture right there. during yesterday's hearing. Okay, this, this is a tough one. I mean, it, it looks like that white power sign, but it could just be how her hand is resting. Like, like, I don't know if we can look at this picture and definitively say that because of that woman, Donald Trump prefers white people. Like, I don't... But I think if we zoom in on another part of the picture, like, I think we might... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we might be onto something. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, white supremacists, be original, right? This is not the white power sign. This is okay. That's what the sign means. <laughs> like, you can't just take a sign that everybody knows and say it means something new, right? This means okay. Just like, this means I approve, not white people are number one, okay? <laughs> like, stop trying to make people accidental races. If white supremacists want a hand sign, you just make one up for yourselves, like every other gang member does in the country. And it has to be new and very elaborate, so there's no doubt. Like, here's one that you can try. What you can do is you can cross your middle finger and your ring finger on your left hand, right? <laughs> and then what you can do is you stick your right thumb up your butt. And then, <laughs> when we see that, we can all agree, oh, that dude's in the master race. Yeah, that's the master race, I like that. Now, now, yesterday was devoted just to opening statements. Today, the senators asked Brett Kavanaugh questions about his positions on various legal issues, and Brett Kavanaugh avoided answering them. Does the president have the ability to pardon somebody in exchange for a promise from that person they wouldn't testify against him? Sarah, I'm not going to answer hypothetical questions uh, of yeah. that sort. Can a sitting president be required to respond to a subpoena? So that's a, a hypothetical question. I can't give assurances on a specific hypothetical. I don't think it's my role to say one way or another. Yeah, who am I to judge? Who am I? I mean, come on. Like, honestly, I, I don't get the point of these hearings. I mean, if the nominees don't have to answer the questions, then why are we doing this? And, and by the way, it isn't just Kavanaugh, right? Every Supreme Court nominee avoids answering questions about how they'll do their job, which is strange for me, because you could never get away with this at any other job, right? You can't be at an interview and they're like, so where do you see yourself in five years? You're like, that's a hypothetical. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna answer that. And you're like, okay, what value are you gonna provide the company? Yeah, that's really not my role <laughs> to say. You're like, say no more, you've got the job. <laughs> so bottom line, Today was just senators asking questions and Kavanaugh ducking all day. A lot of words with nothing happening. A real Senate kind of day. Although there was one exchange that stood out. Let me ask you a personal question. What's the dirtiest, hardest job you've ever had in your life? I worked construction when I was uh, summer uh, after I was 16. My dirtiest job I ever had was four summers working in a slaughterhouse. It was unbearable. It was dirty. It was hot. The things I did were unimaginable, and I wouldn't even start to repeat them. 